Ahoy bitches and bros and non-binary hoes, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Still no face cam, but good news is I just ordered one a while ago. I don't know if any of you guys give a shit, but I ordered a Logitech webcam. I'm really excited, a lot of... A lot of even, like, bigger streamers use this one, surprisingly. So... It's a cheap one, and it's very good quality, so I'm excited for that. Anyway... So, I decided to make an executive decision. So if you can see on the bottom left, pretty much every side mission, at least in this area, because I, I honestly didn't even know you can do this. Holy fuck, this map is goddamn huge. Anyway, I haven't even explored this area and I have to do the main mission here, but basically I completed every side mission. And trust me, you didn't miss shit. The side missions in this game are really fucking bad. They they suck. They're boring. But they are useful because they got me from level like 15 all the way to 22, I think. Yeah, level 22 I see on the bottom, on the top right. So I've decided to make an executive decision. Anytime side missions come up, I'm just going to do them off camera because my god, they're fucking boring. <laughs> One of them is literally just me taking pictures for some like for some random app. This guy snaps, I think his name is. They're boring. They suck. I might do some on camera, but most of them, they're going to be done off camera. I'm sorry. But they suck, and I don't want to put you guys to sleep, so. I'm going to do all that to level up, and then we'll do the main story, of course, on camera. Which, we'll, which is what we're going to finally do here. Look at how long I've played this game for. I've played for 10 hours. I'm in chapter 2, and yeah, I switched Tifa and Aerith out because, uh, honestly, Cloud, Bear, and Red are just a lethal combo. Like, they're fucking disgusting. It's disgusting how good they are. I think I went the completely wrong way. Yeah, I did, like an idiot. And I also, how do I, uh, how do I show you him? No, that's not what I wanted to do. Materia. I also beat Titan. Um, I beat him... Not at full power, but next to full power. Just below it. Couldn't beat him at full power. He's way too fucking hard. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. He's just so incredibly difficult. But, that was enough to get his summon, so hopefully he's good and doesn't suck ass. But yeah, that's all. That's all you guys need to catch up on. So, let's just go to the main mission, finally. Oh, there's a treasure here somewhere. Right here, baby. I know there's probably going to be more side missions down the line, but I hope there aren't so many. Because none of them are good. They're all still just fetch quests. They didn't improve them from the last game, like, at all. They're all still fucking fetch quests. Assuming I gotta climb this somewhere? I don't know where, though. So when I review this game, just know, I do not like the side missions. <laughs> I do not. Almost at all. How the fuck am I supposed to get there then? Is there something I can like break here? God, I'm stuck here. 
I know, I'm just trying to figure out how to get around this. Uh, don't tell me I have to go all the way around. Yep, I think I'm gonna have to go all the way around. Fuck. Over there. It's Sephiroth. I wasn't even looking at it, I was just looking at the fucking chest here. I... I know you're really desperate to see Sephiroth, your boyfriend, but... I don't care. I don't see Sephiroth. Do you? No. I don't. We're gonna talk about this random dude here? Don't hold that. Also, check out this attack. See what I mean? I'm like, they're already like almost dead. I know they're low levels, but... Fucking wreck them. Wait, I want to see what that high-powered rifle is. Okay, we can try this. It's got some drip on him now. God, fucking... I looked at, like, the calendar for March in terms of, like, gaming. It is a stacked month. Seriously, the Owlash Trials, which I'm gonna play after this, Fucking Hi-Fi Rush came out for PlayStation. I'm gonna play that too. Let's go. A new South Park game. Dragon's Dogma: Rise of the Ronin, and then Stellar Blade is in April. Just, Jesus fucking Christ! What a stacked ass month. Or months, I should say. Is this the thing I needed to avoid the whole time? Alright. Yeah, it is. Look at that. What's great is when I do these attacks, I also block. I don't want to know what Devour does. Let's see if he's got a weakness. His weakness is ice. Interesting. I don't know if I have ice on Barret or uh, Red. I think I have some on. Yeah, actually, wait. Yeah, I do. Never mind. Um, uh, fuck. He doesn't have any. Spam his ass. Oh, he... Wait. Yes, he does. What am I saying? See, I bet you if I just rushed into those, I just beeline the story. I probably would have gotten destroyed by this thing already. Now he's on fire. Oh, shit.
I need one of you to heal me. Oh shit, he attacks right after that, you asshole. Here, I'll hear a uh, red here too. We could use some. Oh, great, now you can get- Oh shit! Are you fucking serious? You can eat me? How fucking fast red is crazy. Oh god, I don't know what he's doing. If I hit him with a blizzard, that'll help. Fucking everybody can use a heal right now. Oh shit! Now he's on the goddamn tree, what an asshole. Um, let's see what this does. Oh shit, I don't know what he's doing. Oh, we got him. What the hell, he's like glitching out like crazy. What is he doing? I was about to say, if he has one of these attacks that one shot you, I would have been so pissed. Ah, oh, god damn it, again? Fuck it, I'll summon Rift here. I kinda wanted to summon Titan just to see how he does, but I'll, I'll settle for him. Honestly, I don't even think I needed him. Yeah, I didn't even need him, so it was just worthless. <laughs> but whatever. Is it gone?
Oh, it's him. I was like, what? Good to have you back, Cloud. Sephiroth? I knew he was strong, but still. Those guys are looking for him, too. They've got to be. Yeah, I kind of get that feeling as well. Let's not lose her. Swim through the swamp, lads. Why would I? Oh yeah, I don't have chocobo anymore. Well, that's just fucking whack. Let's just see what's up with these guys. I'm so glad I don't have face camera now because you guys can't see this like really scruffy beard I have right now. Because I am scruffing my whole face up. <laughs> That's just because I've been really too lazy to shave. Well, not lazy, just I don't have time for it. Well, woohoo. Chapter 2. Only took me 10 goddamn hours. He's here, isn't he? Monsters sure are. No doubt. Monsters we can handle. We've dealt with worse. That's easy for you to say. You fought the worst for a living. Not us, though. Yeah, good boy. You mind taking the lead, Merc? For 2,000. <laughs> Enough for her standard course twice, right? Her what now? Ask him. Cloud? Uh, uh, forget it. You guys need to focus. Wasn't all that long ago that this place. I just realized there's a Mithril. keyhole in this sword. Y'all know about Mithril, right? Wonder if it's probably a reference to Kingdom Hearts, right? No. Like the Keyblade. It's, tough. it's the same developer, so right on probably. Counts. But what you might not realize is just how rare it is. Never been found outside of these caves, in fact. And I ought to know. Worked in a mine myself back in the day. Hard not to learn about the life when you live in it. Should we pick up a few souvenirs then? We could, but probably not worth it. Shinra's been churning out stuff made with more durable alloys for years now. Even got that signature mithril sheen and everything. Probably refined with materia too. Look at you, Mr. Shinra expert. <clears throat> Oh, goody. A little rest stop. Alright, I'm gonna sleep. Fuck you guys. Sure, I'll buy like three of these. Alright, all the same shits in here. I don't have any upgrades, but I've upgraded a lot. I just know Hank from Breaking Bad will love this museum because it's just filled with minerals. It seems we've caught up. Come on. 
They're not rocks, Marie. They're minerals. I'm sure they'll be fine. They only fell off a fucking cliff. Nothing we can do. I don't know. We shouldn't just leave them. You know what? I'll go check. Okay, I'll come too. Nah, you stay. I know what I'm doing down here. You don't. <laughs> Last thing we need is you getting hurt on us. I'll accompany him. I'm no stranger to caves. <laughs> Did Bear really just tell her sure. this is a man's job, not a woman's? I mean, thank you. I mean, to be fair, who would want to go down there? But I'm just saying, <laughs> it seemed like you said a way nicer version of that. You keep track of the other roads now. You hear? Of course. God, the second I make these two doofuses in my party, they're they're Careful gone. Down there. I'm stuck with the bitches. Not a complaint, but I'm gonna have him push me to the objective. He's a little too slow, I don't think that can happen. What? Where? Oh, these things? I don't have any special attacks with these two, that's what sucks. I haven't really gotten to, like an option to buy one yet. What's this? AP up material, okay. How did Tifa- oh, did she just go down there first? Okay, I kind of have another complaint about this game that's kind of, it's really small, but it gets on my nerves sometimes. Unless you lock onto an enemy, the camera, the lock-on system will just go wherever the fuck it wants. Like right there. I, you think I wanted to go all the way to the corner to fucking hit this one? Instead of the, like, the two right in front of me? No. That was just the game deciding that. I don't know like what they did to fuck that up, I don't know why they changed it. But that, uh, that really gets annoying sometimes. Speaking of fucking up, oh boy. I could rant about this for like, see, again, it just did it. Anyway, I could rant about this for days on end. So I'm sure a lot of you heard about the, uh, Star Wars Battlefront, uh, remaster collection. That was coming out. I was really excited for it because those two games are some of my favorites in my childhood. So to see them in like high res graphics with multiplayer for the modern age, I was more than fucking pumped for this. But as Thanos once said, reality is often disappointing because, uh. Yeah, I swear they did not do any work on this shit at all. <laughs> Uh, this is just a theory that I've seen floated around, but I've I've seen people say that they use like AI to make this, or like to remaster it, I should say. I don't doubt that because it seems like they did not put any work in. There's only three servers for multiplayer. Ten thousand people tried to play first first night. Unacceptable. Plus, there's no option to play with your friends or party up. You're a multiplayer game in 2020 fucking 3. 
2024, actually. And you don't have a party up feature, and there's no crossplay? That's ridiculous. That is, like, downright foolish. And, to top it all off, two things. One, the collection is 70 gigabytes. This is a game that is nearly 20 fucking years old. 70 gigabytes? There is no excuse. There is no reason that should be 70 gigs. I, I hate this trend of, like, games being so fucking huge now. They take up so much goddamn space. And a lot of the time, there's no reason to. Like, the biggest culprit I can think of is Call of Duty. Like, there's, like, no reason. It should be, like, nearly, like, 300 gigs every year. Like, what is taking up that much space? I just don't get it. Like, why is it so fuck? Why is it 70 gigs when the original is only, like, 5 at most? I don't get it. Like, how the fuck is that even possible? Especially when it seems like the developers did, like, no work at all on this. And, finally, to top it all off, the game is an absolute buggy mess. It is actually unplayable. It really is. It really is unplayable. Seriously, look at the Twitter. I've seen a bunch of Twitter clips of people just zooming around like crazy because it's a laggy, buggy mess. I truly don't know how you fuck up a game from 20 years ago. Literally, that's all people wanted. We just wanted a simple remaster and a revamp of the multiplayer. That is it. That is it. That is all we wanted. We would have been happy with it, but no. We can't have good things in 2024. <laughs> I'm just beyond disappointed by the Battlefront collection. Just such a goddamn shame that it's an unplayable mess. A game that was made 20 years ago is unplayable for the modern age. Just fucking ridiculous. Unacceptable. And you know what? The game launched in such a poor state that I don't even want to support it anymore. I never want to buy it, even if it gets fixed. Because I'm so sick of this fucking trend of releasing games unfinished and then being like, Oh, no, 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 we'll finish it eventually. No, motherfucker, you finish it now and you add shit later. You finish it when you hit the shells, or when, in this case, you hit the digital space. You can't, gaming companies cannot keep getting away with this shit. It's fucking ridiculous. No, the, this is the only industry where I can think of where you can get away with shit like this. If you release unfinished stuff, if you don't finish your work in other spaces, you get fired without question. You get kicked out right out the door. You get fired. But in the gaming industry, that doesn't happen. So why, why would I support this practice? You give me a fucking pile of shit and promise me that it's going to be a stake. God knows how long in the future. I'm just done supporting that practice. I've, I'm i so fucking tired of it. So yeah, I'm never going to buy the Battlefront collection. Never ever going to. I, j I don't want to give my money to people who thought they could just scam us based on nostalgia. Just get a quick cash grab on us. And now that they get caught, they have to actually do some work. I I'm not doing that, ever. This place is huge. You know what I would much rather support? Complete finish games, like Helldivers 2, or this game. Yeah, I have my issues with this game so far, but I still really like it. I'm very satisfied with my purchase. Whereas if I bought the Battlefront collection, I would not. 
And I would have been fucked too, because I think PlayStation has this policy where if you download the game, you can't get a refund. I, I think that's how it works. I could be wrong, but I, I've, I've read that like a few times on Twitter now, but they can't get a refund since they downloaded it. Because I know on Steam, you could just refund it for like any fucking reason, but with at least PlayStation, I don't even think you're allowed to download it. It is some shit like that. I, I could be entirely wrong. I don't know the 100%. I've never, like, tried to refund a game. But I guarantee you if I spent- Oh yeah, the game- the Battlefront collection cost 30 bucks, too. A game that was <laughs> made 20 years ago cost 30 bucks. And it's unplayable. They just ripped me off for $30. Yeah, fuck you guys. This deserves to fail. <laughs> And I've already seen a lot of people say that they're not coming back, even if it's fixed. I've seen so many people say that, I have like the same sentiment as me. Where it's just like, even if it's fixed, I don't want to give you guys my money again, you guys really fucked it up. I can't say I blame them, like, how could you... You're a professional video game developer. All your task was is remastering and giving good servers to a 20 year old game and you couldn't even fucking do that. You're way, way too lazy to do it. You just wanted to cash grab off the nostalgia of a very good game. Oh my god, this fucking bitch. So yeah, you, you never deserve my money after that. You never will get it. Honestly, I'll remember them for that. I'll remember them. I'll remember that company that made that. Who was it? Asper? Aspar, I think you say it. Which is a shame, because they've done great remasters before. Like Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, that's a great game. But now, I'm never going to give you my money for this. That's fucking ridiculous. You thought you could just scam your way out of this one? You thought you could just weasel your way out of it? Oh my god, that range is crazy. But no, we're not stupid, we're not going to fall for that. Man, that's my Battlefront rant. I'm sure we'll get fixed, but I'm really tired of like supporting that practice. And I, I know I love the uh, Battlefront 2, the newer one, which is... The one that came out a few years ago, like in 2018, 2019? It might have been 2017, actually. That game launched fucking horrendous at first, but then became a lot better. And I know what you're saying, well, why do you support that one, but not this new one? Well, because the other game's 20 years old, and I could play a very functional version of that on Steam for very cheap and far less space. And I can easily find servers online for it. Instead of getting paid, instead of just fucking losing 30 bucks on an unplayable buggy mess. That will MIGHT eventually work in the future. MIGHT. There is a gigantic difference. And plus they're two different teams too. Say what you want about DICE. But I do think they are good developers. It's just they're owned by the devil of gaming, EA. I don't see any black robes. Did we lose them? Still got time to catch them. Seriously, dice is very good. Look at like some of the old battlefields. Those are fucking awesome. And look at Battlefront 2 and its finish day. It's fucking great. They're a very capable company, just in the hands of like actual fucking fossils for uh, owners.
I love some of the old battlefields. Battlefield 4 is probably my favorite. That game was fucking incredible. Even like 3 and Bad Company 2 are awesome. I haven't played 5 or... I don't know if I ever want to play 2042. I heard nothing but negative things about it. He's been instructed to take some time to himself. To relax. Recuperate. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that sounds a lot like a nice, long, all Oh, it's Reno? Isn't that Reno? Well, more or less. Lucky. Hardly. He's bored out of his mind. Seriously? What are we even doing here? Sorry, but I gotta say it. This mission, it makes no sense. Why are we wasting our time following these hooded weirdos around? Orders are orders. Oh, it's rude. So Reno is the other one. Yeesh. Maybe you need a vacation. So about him, Mr. Workaholic. Thoughts? <sighs> I say we put him down. I mean, that's what Sung would do if he was here. <sighs> Assholes. Who's there? <sighs> Sharp ears. Oh, damn it. And you're still talking. <laughs> <gasps> no freaking way. Avalanche. Feast your eyes on the Turks' latest and greatest, Elena. But you three can call me your worst nightmare. Where's Reno? On vacation. I recognize this chick's voice. I'm here to fill in. She may be new, but she's still a turkey. And a consummate professional. Huh. God damn, I'm not to fight both of them. <laughs> And she's got a fucking pistola. Come on. I gotta keep her off. I gotta keep them off air so they don't like. So, God damn it again! That was that shit. So she can uh, do her thing, just blast them away. What the hell is he doing? Throw a fireball at him. There we go. Look at that teamwork. What is this? I don't even know if I want to get close to them. Yeah, I figure they're gonna do some bullshit. Oh, you can't do anything behind, huh? You've got this, Rude. 
He's got a Glock now. Oh shit! And I landed right next to one. Fuck! God damn it! You fucking dumb whore. I like how fire is her weakness. That's, that would be anyone's weakness. I, gotta, I think it's Aerith I gotta cure. God damn it! Aerith's gonna die. Shit. Tifa, get her up. Oh my god, what is happening? No! Oh, no, you don't. Alright. I gotta heal myself, first of all. Get your ass up, Aerith. Ah, oh, not this... These like kind of attacks. Oh my god, hurry up. Alright, I got it just in time. No! Fuck, I ran straight into it. I'm not gonna use a sump this time, I'm just gonna fucking destroy him. As if he can block fire. Get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna get him with this. Got him. Hands in the air. Right now. Better keep that toy where I can see it, lest you want a hole in your head. Now then. Y'all got a lot to answer for. A lot of blood on your hands. You need someone to blame. Suggest you look in the mirror. For us, however, things have changed. While you're still wanted fugitives, if you stay out of our way, we'll stay out of yours. Oh, yeah? Bullshit! Take care of Aerith for me. Others. You okay? 
We're good. Just taking a quick dip to get the grime off. Find one. We'll meet you at the exit. Okay. <clears throat> Hojo's lab was filled with men like this. Mako poisoned. Every last one of them. Poor bastards. What do you think their deal is? Where they going? They're following Sephiroth, or so Cloud seems to think. He did say that. Let's hope the boy can keep it together. He's half bullets, uh... Oh, okay. So just shoot that shit, basically. Ugly. So, watch this. Going in. I'm just gonna assume that weakness is fire, and it is. Not die like at all. What is the point of even shooting those? I don't get it. Yeah, I have like most of these materials. I don't really need one. Ooh, he got a new collar though. Yeah, you good boy. I only have five, so I can't really do much. Or fucking anything at all. Do I have to like go out of my way to shoot these things? Whoops. Oh, okay. It just like gives it for me automatically. Okie dokie. Alright. Now, how are we getting out of here? That might be an option. Ducky, ducky. I'm finally getting around to watching the um not new at this point, but the third season of Demon Slayer, the Swordsmith Village Art. And uh, I'm not gonna say it's bad, like some people are saying saying it is, but it is at best just mid. It really does feel like a fucking filler arc. It really doesn't feel like anything important happened. I haven't finished yet, I'm uh, like midway through it. But god, it feels like so fucking pointless. The only reason to watch it is to see Mitsuri, and that's just because you can see some jiggly titties, and that's about it. And then I guess the animations and fight scenes are cool and all. 
It's just the villains are weak. And there's just like not a lot to care about for this season, especially when you compare it to the like other two seasons, like the first one, the Entertainment District arc, which is amazing, and of course the movie, the actual movie, not the scam they pulled off on us. It just feels so like hollow. Like, it's like they just went out of their way to be mid this season. I don't get it. It's Again, it's not bad. It's just such a step down. I really expected more since we're coming off the amazing entertainment district arc. <laughs> I just expected a lot more, and I did not get that at all. And apparently, like, the next season that's coming out in, like, May is apparently gonna be, like, the same fucking way, too. It's gonna be, like, somewhat of another filler season. And, uh, if it's gonna be like this for a while, then I don't see Demon Slayer sticking around for a long time if that's gonna be the case. People are not just gonna want to wait around for like bullshit filler seasons until like, oh, but this is the one, this is the season that's gonna be good, you know? I don't know, I feel like that just kills your momentum and hype. I don't think that is the uh, smartest plan. I don't know, to me it just comes off as stretching it for the sake of stretching it. Like yeah, you have a really popular anime at your fingertips and you just want to make it last as long as you can, make the most money you can. And to be honest, I don't think this is going to be the way to do it. Just release some good fucking seasons, stop with these like bullshit filler ones. The stuff that happens in these episodes should be in like one episode. Two, three at, at minimum, at least. There's no reason a fucking training arc season should be a whole big production season. I just, I, I don't understand the logic in that. Like, imagine if you made a Rocky movie but then the sequel is literally just him training. No one would watch that. You put the training scenes in the movie. You don't fucking make a whole movie out of the training. Like, what? It's just a fucking silly mess. I, I just don't get it. I enjoy some parts of the new season, but overall, it's just kind of a drag to get through, if I'm being honest. But, I mean, the fight scenes and animations are still pretty great. And for a lot of people, that's going to be more than enough. Especially for a lot of anime fans where all they care about is fight scenes. Like seriously, you don't believe me? Look at Demon Slayer and look at what the highest... Look at a lot of animes and look at what the highest rated episodes are. A lot of them are just like fight episodes. I can't say I blame them because that's like what a lot of animes build up to. Like obviously I love anime, but one of my like major problems with it is that a lot of fans act like shonen is the only thing to offer an anime when there's Dozens of different genres and different types of animes out there other than shonen. Like, 
you ask like a, a weeb like what his favorite animes are, the chances are he's gonna probably tell you the big three like Naruto, One Piece, Dragon Ball. Like a lot of everyone's favorites are shown in anime, but I've come to realize there's a lot more animes out there than just shonen. And don't get me wrong, I like shonen too. You guys can't see it now, but I have an Attack on Titan poster now. I know Attack on Titan is in a different league, but I'm just saying, there is a lot more animes out there than just the typical shonen action thing that most people watch for. It's because I was watching these TikToks of like uh, people at uh, these like, I guess they're anime expos. Why can't I go down? And they were like asking, oh, what's your favorite anime? And I swear to shit, all of them were just Naruto's, One Piece's, Dragon Balls. He had a few Attack on Titans, a few like Jujutsu Kaisens. I saw someone say Cowboy Bebop and I was like, god damn. I feel like no one says Cowboy Bebop anymore. Man, that's that's just my point, like... I feel like just anyone who watches anime just cares about Shonen when there's like a bunch of different shit out there. Like, I know these are kind of generic answers, but like, well, my favorite animes are like Attack on Titan, Death Note, Cowboy Bebop. But of course, I also like shonens like My Hero Academia, Demon Slayer. Um, I like One Punch Man. I like Chainsaw Man. Hell, I, I even freaking love Spy Family. I know. Oh, uh, Spy Family fell off. No, it didn't. You guys just don't pay attention to it or watch it anymore. And that's fine, but it's still the same quality. <laughs> Those are like my few favorite animes. I feel like they're different from a lot of people's. And I don't really feel like many people have Death Note or uh, like Spy Family or Cowboy Bebop in their top ends. I don't know where I'm supposed to go right now. I'm like so fucking like turned around. Is it this way here? Now it says up, but like I went up and there's like nowhere else to go. <laughs> Unless I'm just an idiot. Let's go back there. Let's see what I missed. While we're on the subject of anime, can I tell you guys a little secret? A little, like, uh, hot take? 
that I have that I feel like people are going to be really mad at me for. <laughs> so, we all know about like the big three, right? Naruto, One Piece, and uh, Dragon Ball, right? Well, what if I told you I think all three of them are overrated? And I think there's much better animes out there than those three. I think the big three are just massively overrated. I like Naruto. But people act like Naruto is the greatest thing ever. It's like the... The first syndrome. You know how like people will be like... Oh, so-and-so did that first, so it's automatically better. When there's been a bunch of animes that come out and like outdo it in like every possible way, like... Just because it comes first doesn't mean it's the best. <laughs> And I feel like a lot of people have that mentality with Naruto. I like Naruto. I don't like the filler in Naruto, I think it's fucking garbage, but I do like me some Naruto. I think it's perfectly fine. I would give it like a 7 out of 10. I have seen episodes of One Piece, but I've never seen the full thing. That's because I don't have 9,000 hours of times on my hand to watch 100,000 episodes of that shit. I will give it a try eventually, but goddamn, it is very fucking long, but I can't comment too much on it. Since the last episodes I've seen were, like, in my youth. And Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball fans, cover your ears. You're not gonna like what I'm gonna have to say. Dragon Ball is really overrated. I tried to watch it when we were all in quarantine, but I I just could not get into it. It's I'm sorry, it's just it's gonna sound kinda stupid, but it's just too childish for me. I feel like a, there are a lot of Dragon Ball fans who grew up with it and that's mainly the prime the primary like fan base for it. A lot of like adults who are fans of Dragon Ball just grew up with it and still like it to this day. It's kind of like the same thing with wrestling where like a lot of adults who are wrestling fans grew up with wrestling and they just still are. They just like, you know, never grew out of it. I feel that way that it's the same case with Dragon Ball because I tried to watch it as a 21 year old man with a hairy nutsack and I just didn't like it. I just found it to be way too fucking childish and way too stupid. Like, there's straight up episodes where they power up for attacks. That shit is stupid. <laughs> A whole episode is like, I need all the power. Ah, get stronger. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just fucking childish for me. I, I find it dumb. And you could disagree with me, okay? That, that's perfectly fine. There's a, I, I know I'm in probably in the minority here, but I just don't dig Dragon Ball. I don't. It's just maybe if I watched it when I was a kid, it would be a whole lot different. But it's, uh, I'm way too old for Dragon Ball. I feel. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm just I'm just not a Dragon Ball fan. I will say though, I think like the video games look cool. Those look like fun fighters, it's a shame I don't fucking know anything about Dragon Ball. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just not a big Dragon Ball fan. I guess I just like my animes to be a little bit more serious, I don't know. I know that my favorite anime of all time is a fucking hyper serious one.
I don't know, man. I guess that's just my vibe. I don't know what to tell you. It's just my vibe. We all got our own vibes. Fuck, I already have this thing too. Why did he climb up that? Why? Wait, 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 wait. Alright, now. I meant to shoot this thing, but okay. That shit is so OP, man. Staggered. Well, now, look who it is. Oh, look who it is. Well, we said the same thing. <laughs> I hey swear guys, I didn't read it. Over here! <laughs> Y'all taking a breather? Or what? The bridge is out! Do you think you can give us a hand? Let me see. don't really see what I need to do because I was kind of around and standing here with my dick in my hand <laughs> like that makes any sense <laughs> oh no guy with a gun on his arm is uh just fine for me but him shooting a ladder off is just it's too much. It's so silly. Preposterous. How the hell are you even supposed to open this one? There's something, there's a, like a, there's a materia behind it.
Holy shit, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> Why did it not grab it? when he was on it, that was pretty funny. No, back! Keep going back. yonder Ooh man that was a big payday That thing is definitely going to be alive, isn't it? Yeah, I fucking knew it. Head just gets destroyed. So did I. What do you think his weakness is? Fire? about when we need to aim for the head again go for it yeah i'll do it ah! Ooh, gotta love it ah! kiss my ass. oh 
shit, I didn't even see what he was doing there. That hit me, are you kidding me? Oh shit! God damn. Keep it together. Jesus Christ, he got way crazier. Just means it's that much easier to hit. Am I right? It just shook it off. God, the parrot's so fucking slow, man. Oh, what the fuck am I getting hit with? And he's got a damn laser? Jesus Christ. Oh shit! Oh god. Oh come on, let me at least heal! Oh, that is fucking bullshit. What is this? Let's see. Oh come on, that's like fucking ridiculous. And he shoots me. What a cunt. I healed the wrong person too. Walk, walk, walk. There we go. God damn it, why is Baron first? Oh, fuck me. Luckily, I have uh, something that'll. Holy shit. Oh my fucking god, dude. Red, heal red, not. Barret. God, he needs to get the fuck away from me. Oh my fucking goodness. <gasps> oh my god. Alright, where is it? Let's turn this around. Oh. Oh. There he goes. And I got my limit too. Damn! Look at that shit. Alright. Give a uh, red one, too. Oh, shit. I 
could beat him without a summon. I ain't no fucking vagina. Oh god. Fucking ass. Ah, oh, changed to red right at the wrong time. What the fuck? Got him. See, I didn't need no summon to beat him. Staircase, thank you kindly. A mighty first staircase, thank you kindly. Uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, this is where, yeah, this is where the, all the gang was at right now. There's gotta be something here. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I thought there'd be a crate or something. away right the ground here could give way at any moment we shouldn't linger true but don't forget shimmer knows we're here now maybe more of them outside that doesn't make any difference to me i ain't stopping not for them or anyone not after midgar not after what we saw at stake here, the fate of the world. So if they get in our way, that's on them. Right. Let's get back to tailing the guys in robes. They're our best chance of finding Sephiroth. <laughs> Party selection available. First, I should probably heal everybody. Give you some magic, big boy. Hang back. Oh shit. God, why are these ogres so hard to defeat? Jeez. I feel like they tanked a lot there.
Do 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 do. Where are the other ones? Oh, okay. <laughs> there's not gonna be another one right now. Oh my goodness, that is bright. What the fuck? Hey, check it out. Just them? Guess so. Chapter four. God damn, I still gotta do these too, but <laughs> all right. Well, I'm gonna call it a night. I'm getting sleepy. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.